happy, happy Sunday evening. I'm so excited because this is Thanksgiving week and actually Thanksgiving is one of my personal favorite holidays, except for it used to be the time that I would really be tortured. So what I'm just excited to share with you are some tips to help you actually lose weight this week if you want to, which I'm assuming if you're in one of our accountability groups, if you're working on a better health and fitness, you would like to have a weight loss week even with Thanksgiving, right? Um, so hopefully you're open to a couple tips and I just want to encourage you, find Find a tip that will help you and hold on to it. Don't stress about trying to get everything right. This is not the week to like throw old Jen out and replace her with a whole new one, right? We're just looking at finding helpful tips so that you can have a healthy, a healthier, happier Thanksgiving week. And you can make Thanksgiving a weight loss day. I promise you, you absolutely can. So I'm just going to share this with you. If you have any questions, put them down in the chat and I'll answer them all at the end um, in case maybe I'll come up with an answer as we keep going. Uh, and just finding how to share my screen. Here we go. Okay, so here we are. Oops. Now that what's going on? Anyway, so oh no. Oh no. <laughs> This is my first time using a, a slideshow. I made this slideshow, um, so just super excited to share it with you. And I just wanna go and just remind you that yes, you can lose weight and feel great during the holidays. So our old mindset in the holidays was, I don't care, I'm gonna eat everything, and I'm just gonna encourage you to have the healthy mindset of, I can enjoy my favorite foods and still lose weight. And quite honestly, to be mindset, I mean, I am using some tools and some information I've learned as an official certified to be um, mindset mentor. Um, but I just want to encourage you, like, we have to go back to where we were originally. Um, if you're just joining us, just getting started, we're just uh, going to go through a presentation. Hey, Amber, if you have any questions, throw them in the chat, and I'll be sure to address them um, at the end. So we're just going to start and say, okay, what was Thanksgiving for us? What was our old mindset during the holidays? Um, for me, what I found was it was all about the food. It was all about how much food could I eat all day long? And it just controlled me. Food controlled me. So my first like big tip is if you already have to be mindset, this is the, the week that you want to rewatch some of your videos. You want to make sure that you're tracking and having a mindful week with your food, not throw it all away just because you you know Thursday's coming. So if you don't have to be mindset yet, talk to the coach who shared this with you or talk to your coach. Um, it is on special this month. Uh, so I would just highly advise that this is a way to have a new thinking and a new healthy relationship with food. Um, so in the old days, I would be in the kitchen. I would be snacking all day long. Thanksgiving would start about 11 o'clock when I got to my aunt's. We'd get out the cheese and the crackers and the ring bologna and you name it. And we would be grazing all day long. And then we we would come and get to the meal, be full, but find a way to have two plates and then have dessert. And well, we already had all this food, so we should just have a whole bunch more desserts, right? And it would end up feeling overstuffed, guilty, probably um, feeling falling asleep during the football games or during the conversations afterwards. And it really was just a a horrible feeling. And so what I like to talk to people about um, when you're getting on a health journey, it has to be at a point that it hurts bad enough to get up. So I like to tell the story about the dog. And there's a man who's walking down the street and he looks up on the porch and he sees his neighbor in a rocking chair and there's a dog howling on the porch. And the guy walking down the street says, hey buddy, your dog's howling. And his neighbor says, yeah, I know. He says, well, what's wrong with him? Help him. You know, he's howling. He says, oh, he's laying on a nail. He's laying on a nail. Why doesn't he get up? It doesn't hurt bad enough. And that is often where we are when we're in our first beginning or before we start to lose weight and get healthier. We're in a position where it doesn't hurt bad enough to move. But guys, we don't want to get to that point that it hurts that bad, right? We don't want to get that bad. So let's start the holiday season. Let's start our, our Thanksgiving meal. Let's look at it 
as though we are having a fresh and satisfied, happy weekend, happy week. Decide like if you're going to indulge, oh, oopsie. If you're going to indulge, make it moderate. Like make it so that the scale doesn't increase excessively. It doesn't have to be a huge, huge overindulgence. You can still enjoy some of those flavors and those treats that you like, but we're gonna give you some tips to help you make it a productive holiday where you can enjoy those things, not destructive that it's gonna take you out and have you feeling horrible. Um, so let's first talk about reshaping the day. So the one thing that I want you to do is I want you to start the day with your water and a workout. Even if your workout is stretching or yoga or going for a walk, but start your day, have a big glass of water and get a workout in. Feel good. That number one, it is scientifically proven that as you work out, um, you're going to have your endorphins, your energy is going to be up, you're going to be in a more positive mindset. And I know a lot of times the holidays can be stressful. You're going into family situations that may be stressful. You have to drive, which um, is one of the most traveled days in the year. So you're sitting in traffic. So you are going to start your day with that good mindset, that good positive attitude. Um, and then of course it's Thanksgiving. So find reasons to be thankful and focus on those things. Um, you're going to start your day thinking, about that but then also I challenge you to continue that through your day as you get to um, your aunt's for me we go to my aunt's house so when I get to my aunt's house old Jen would go find the crackers and the cheese and sit down by the crackers and the cheese and that would be where I would be sitting for a while but I'm new Jen's gonna go find out what everybody else is thankful about what is your favorite win of the week of the month? What are you looking forward to? Like actually start a conversation with your family members, right? Like, because you're going to, um, oh, I'm echoing. You're going to see them um, at the holidays. So make it about them, spend some time with them. Make this a time to go get pictures. Like if you are taking pictures and you're talking, you're not going to be sticking food in your mouth, right? And it's also gonna take some of the power away from the food. Um, the next thing is make sure you have your normal breakfast. This is not the time to say, I'm going to pig out later, so I'm going to deprive myself right now. Because that is one of the biggest reasons people overeat is because they are so hungry, it takes a half an hour or longer for your brain to get the note that your stomach's full. And in this day and age where we're all eating and gobbling so fast, you know your brain is getting that signal when you're already beyond full and you've still kept going. So make sure you have that satisfying breakfast so that you can go into your lunch or dinner, or maybe it's an early afternoon Thanksgiving meal with some, some mindful moments, with some power um, and water. Make sure that you drink water, um, keep filling up on water. I, I would say have three or four bottles with you for the drive to your meal, or if you're the one preparing, make sure you're drinking water while you're cooking the meal. Um, every time you wanna, wanna reach for a, a, a sample of something that you're cooking, I challenge you to grab water and have a couple sips instead. Um, and then, you want to make sure, look at what your meal time is. So for my family, my first Thanksgiving is at 12.30. So it's like a typical lunch. Um, and then my second Thanksgiving is going to be at 5.30 at my mom's house. So I know I'm going to have a huge amount of food to pick from at 12.30 and 5.30. So I'm going to cut myself off and say, by 1.30, I better be done sitting at the table and make the time at my aunt's house talking to my family and step away from the food. And I may even set an alarm on my watch or my phone just to cue me to move away from the food. Out of sight, out of mind is one of the biggest tips that um, I love um, from, from the To Be Mindset program. Like step away from the table. You don't have to keep looking at the dessert. You don't have to keep looking at the bread because your mind will think you want to eat it even though you are already full and satisfied um, and then make it about your family during that time if you know that you get um, Thanksgiving starts at 2 and then your family grazes until 7 until they watch some games and things set your time limit okay I'm going to make my meal at 4 30 and just know the first two hours you're going to hold on to your glass of water 
hold on to an unsweetened tea. Maybe you have a glass of water and then enjoy a glass of wine slowly and talk to everybody. Um, and then just remember to focus on your family and friends. Like I said, take pictures and ask questions. Uh, and then in setting your limits on your time of how much you're eating, also look at, are you the one preparing Thanksgiving or are you going to someone's house? So if you're the one preparing Thanksgiving, you have all the power and control. Yes, you have to make grandma and grandpa's favorites or cousin Joe's favorites. You have to make their favorites, but you can make it a little healthier. We've got our um, recipe hacks that we've been sharing the last couple days and we still have more great ones to come. And veggies most, you can change the menu and add so many different veggies to it that at least you know you have a whole bunch of, of veggies to go to with some of those flavors you're used to. Um, and then I just encourage you to get active, right? Because I know at least for me, I work during the week. So Thursday is not typically a day I get to be with my family. So take advantage of this rare midweek time off with your family and get out of the house. Do something like play a board game outside or go um, collect leaves and collect acorns and um, make a craft once you get back home. Go for a hike or maybe your family has like the, I've always wanted to be a part of a family that has those football um, games like rivalry matches, cousins versus cousins. My family just was never big enough and I don't truthfully really know that much about sports and play football, but, <laughs> but I've always kind of wanted to. Um, so if you have a big family, get out and play, play some sports with them, or maybe do a workout with them and it'll be your second workout. It's bonus. It's extra credit. It's not to punish yourself. It's just for fun and to get moving and to make the day more than just about the food. Um, and then just remember not heavy on the accessories. Don't go, go crazy. I'm going to be real honest with you here for a moment and, and I'm going to talk to who I was two years ago and who I've been like throughout most of my adult life. I'm going to go on a ledge and say that typically you're not depriving yourself right now. Like if you're on, if you're losing weight and you're on a health and fitness journey, you're the exception, but I'm going to say the typical average American is not depriving themselves. They're having desserts every day during the week. They're having, um, um, they're, they're going out and getting appetizers and they're having um, more uh, carbs and, protein and more stuff than that they need on a regular basis. And they're doing that already. So there's no reason to go crazy and splurge on Thanksgiving as if you're not going to get the food, right? The food is always going to be there. You're always going to be able to have it. That's another reason I really love to be mindset because you're not excluding or depriving yourself. It's just a matter of tracking and following principles. Um, and so that case that you don't have to live your life never having carbs or never having this or never having that. However, I just, I want to challenge you to be mindful that this is one day. It, it's not like, uh, it, it's not all or nothing. Um, and I just would ask you like, when is really the last time that you had caramel sweet potatoes and candy yams and mashed potatoes and stuffing? Like, have you had any of those four things any other day this year? I'm going to venture and say probably. Like, if you go to Longhorn or, gosh, you name any big steakhouse, they have sweet potatoes loaded with stuff. And I know people go there every week. So I just want to encourage you that when you're going to splurge and indulge on some food on Thursday, make it truly be that rare thing. Make it be that item that you really love the flavor and you only get at Thanksgiving. And have that splurge after having a glass of water, after enjoying mostly vegetables on your plate. Have like little samplings of everything and then you can feel good and feel full and satisfied and feel happy and excited and talk to everybody around the table and then decide if you want more. And if you do want more, have another glass of water and absolutely enjoy a little bit more because you don't have access to that on a regular basis. But I'm going to venture and say that most of the foods at Thanksgiving, although it is special to have it all at one time. They're not foods you haven't had throughout the year. So I just want to caution you at what you tell yourself because it is so powerful 
what you tell yourself. And I'm gonna just do a little example for you right now, and it's something I've used and shared before, but I just wanna show you why this is so important to yourself. So what you tell yourself, you tell yourself you can never have this food, or you can't eat the Thanksgiving food, or you need all the pie because you never have pumpkin flavor. Um, I want you to just take a moment and pretend you're holding a lime or a lemon. And so you're looking at the lemon and it's yellow and you give it a squeeze and it like spritzes you in the eye, right? And you can smell the lemon. And then seriously, I want you to pretend to take a bite of the lemon. Even just talking about a lemon, my mouth is watering because I get that tart flavor taste every time um, I'm talking about a, a lemon. And it is because your brain does not know the difference between what is really the lemon in your mouth and when you're thinking of it. And so that's why when you give so much power and thought to these foods, like I have to have it or I already messed up, it's going to take you down the rabbit hole and, and have you back to where you were every other Thanksgiving, which was feeling overstuffed, full, miserable, icky, and heavy, right? And you don't want to feel uncomfortable. You want to enjoy your family and your time. So just mind, 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 your mindset, mindset, mindset. Um, and then also I found free fingers, like um, some families get together and they have um, football, they get together um, and they watch shows and there's always appetizers sitting around or little Nicky things to pick at. So I'm gonna challenge you to keep your fingers busy a different way, right? So I know some people knit or crochet to keep their fingers busy. You can hold on to a glass of water, hold on to unsweetened tea, just hold on with dear life. I don't need to pick on the appetizer. I enjoyed it, I had one, thank you. You know, hold on to that water. Or hold on to that tea um, or keep your fingers with a busy with a craft or taking pictures um, and then just want to encourage you um, that you can also have vegetables instead if you love the nacho dip eat it with with a cucumber or radish chip instead of a chip um, and then that's your your splurge is some of your splurging but you're making it a healthier splurge um, you can water down your dressings by a little bit uh, so many things that you can do to stay on track and like I said so many things I this is when I would rewatch the to be mindset if you don't own it yet um, talk to your coach because it is on sale um, and then take you here so it's harder to fail if you're set up success. So I'm thanking you for being here and watching this video because you're getting tips on how to be successful. And that means that you want to have a weight loss week. You want to feel good about yourself. You want to feel energized. So remember that, remember that and enjoy it and know that you absolutely can. You have the power. Just wanna reiterate, eat breakfast don't skip out on the food and pitch in that's another way to keep your hands busy be the dish volunteer like do the dishes clean up the table or help make make something um, and then know yourself like before you go know your weakness so I know for me personally I'm somebody who I've I've always overeaten and then just said well I already had that I'm just gonna eat everything and I know like it's so silly to get myself uncomfortable and sick at this point. And that is really like an emotional um, mindset that I have the power to change. So now I know myself, I'm not gonna go sit next to the desserts. I'm not gonna go um, sit there. And I am also someone who has a hard time saying no. And so I personally know that for myself, having a response ready for when my aunt or someone offers me more and I don't want more, I need to have a response ready because otherwise I'll say yes, even feeling full and not wanting the dessert, I'll say yes to be nice. And so I know for myself, I need to have something ready to say. So what I'll say is, thank you so much. I've already had more than I can handle, but it is so enjoyable and I loved it. I appreciate everything you did to make today special. And just divert it off divert it off. And so now I have that ready to say, and it's not being rude. It's not being nasty. It's, it's a comfortable reply. And I have that ready because I know I'm going to need to say it. <laughs> so know yourself and then position yourself. Well, 
get your workout done in the morning, make sure that you're carrying water with you. If you're going to someone's house, bring vegetables to share, or I even challenge um, to be eating a, a cup of celery or a cup of cucumbers or carrots on the drive there so that you have already had water and veggies so that you're not having that ravenous hunger feeling once you're open to the senses. And of course, make up your mind, like set, position yourself well and decide, do I care if the scale goes up? And if so, am I willing to just indulge a little? Um, and then use a small plate. You'll be amazed at how much the size and color of your plate can trick your mind into saying, I ate so much and be able to stop sooner. Um, and especially having water in between your plates and savor every bite. Look, if you love grandma's cookies or my sister's chocolate chip cookies or my aunt's pumpkin pie, if you actually love it, that you truly, truly need to enjoy it, then savor it. Take a bite at a time and chew it. Take a sip of coffee or tea in between each bite and truly enjoy it. I know I love those things, but I ate 10 so fast, I couldn't even tell you what the taste was. Um, so you'll find that you can enjoy it better and then you'll probably eat less anyway. Um, and water, 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 like seriously. Make sure you're hydrating the day before. You're gonna to wanna to drink a lot of water the day after because usually um, Easter and Thanksgiving meals have a lot of salt in them. Um, and then start the day with physical activity and let it continue. Like I said, take advantage of this rare time to have with your family on a random weekday and go for an extra walk. Um, maybe you're visiting family that has dogs and you don't have dogs. Take their dogs for a walk. Um, you know, Go for a hike or um, start the new football team. Um, challenge with your family. And I just want to encourage you that this is not a time to punish yourself. When I tell you to start the day with exercise and when I tell you to get out there and walk, this is not to punish yourself. It's to celebrate life. I had, um, I wish I could put it into better words, but I just had like a really big heart realization. Um, on, on Friday night after I worked out, I was sitting there and I was just sitting looking at my body and I was like dripping sweat. And I was just like, wow, I was like, this is really my only body. I don't get to trade this body in. I am so glad that I really to make the changes that I have been because this is it guys. And so just punishing yourself for making a slip up or having something extra, that's just gonna cause you more stress and it's gonna either freeze you because you're gonna get all upset and flustered that you failed, or it's going to have you um, do some unhealthy things. Because I know in my past, I've um, starved myself or done extreme pills or patches or diets in combination with each other and did some really unhealthy things because I let that stress and that punishing myself for being bad take over. And I just wanna encourage you, you're not bad. You are not bad. You are in a very stimulating life with a lot of things being thrown at you. And you are in a position to prepare for it better and you're already working on yourself. So you should feel good. You should feel good about yourself that you're recognizing it. And I know this may sound silly, but I can't tell you how many times the last two years I've actually pat myself on the back. It is okay to cheer yourself on and pat yourself on the back. Be, feel good, even just for the intent of it. Um, and then just be thankful. Like I said, just be thankful. It's just one day. You don't have to lose the whole week. You don't have to lose your whole year of progress. Like you'll find even if you do decide to indulge and not make it a weight loss day, you're not going to gain 15 pounds in one day, okay? You can lose it as fast as it goes on just as long as you don't let it take you down that rabbit hole. Um, and that's where leading into our groups, that's where knowing how you want to feel and how you want to live this life is so important. And I just encourage, I just want to give you guys all a high five just for being here and working on yourself already. Um, and then, like we said, lean into the group. We've been sharing healthier recipes. We've been sharing tips. Um, maybe pull up some of my old mindset moment videos in the units. Um, make sure that you still prep for this week. It's 8.30 on the East Coast. You still have time. If you're on the West Coast or Midwest, you still have time to prep for the week. Don't throw away the whole week for one day. That should just be a celebration of family and friends, right? And then um, 
in our private accountability group. We are in our private boot camp. We are going to be playing bingo every day. We're going to be doing a little drawing um, for everybody who gets bingo. So look for this post tonight. Emily will be posting it um, within the hour. You're going to save the bingo card on your phone and then as you do these things you mark it off and when you get bingo you take a screenshot of your card and post it in the comments and that enters you in for the drawing you can get bingo as many times as possible in one day and that's every bingo is one entry in the drawing um and then we're going to do it again the next day and on Thanksgiving, your bingos are worth double. Just to give you some more encouragement to get those happy, healthy things that are going to make this a weight loss week done. Um, so again, within the hour, Emily will be posting this and then you'll just save a clean card and mark it up on your phone and with either an app or um, you can print it out and write on it what, whatever way you want to use. But I just want to remind you that if you want it done, make it fun. So pour into the bingo, lean into the group, feel good about your choice to be in control and know that you can absolutely do this. Um, we're coming into the holiday season and all these tips you can use at any of the holidays, um, at any holiday party. And I just wanna encourage you that why not? Because food is going to be in your life for the rest of your life. This is not the time to let it control you, okay? Um, it, this is a time for you to take control. So grab that water, grab that tea, get that workout in, play bingo, have fun with us, ask questions, and don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> like, don't be scared. It's just food. It nourishes you. It gives you energy. And you are in control of what you put in your mouth. And we're going to hopefully have a lot of fun um, just throughout the whole week, throughout the rest of the year, just working towards your goal step by step. So I will check the chat, see if anybody has any questions, and um, then we'll get ready to have a great week. What do you guys say? I don't see any questions. So that means everybody's going to have an awesome week, and we're going to have fun. So here we go. Let's get it done. <laughs>